Hello everyone, Ace here, and today we are back with some more Xbox emulation, courtesy of Zemu. And more specifically, the game we will be covering is none other than Black. Now I should mention that Zemu has released a brand new build to just today, so let's go ahead and test it out. As you can see, there is some issues with the vi with the cutscenes, including the company logos and all that, as you can tell. And this is something of a problem with this particular game because it is pretty cutscene heavy a lot of times. Even the main menu, for example, you have to watch this cutscene before you can even hit the start button. Which is a little bit annoying for this for trying to play this game on emulator. But we'll let it play, and then once it has, we'll go ahead and hit start, and then we can get in-game and see how the actual game itself runs. And the good news is it seems to run a little bit better, although it is still not perfect. Okay, there we go. Cutscene is going to probably play, so we but hopefully we should be able to skip this cutscene. Yep. I hope. Okay, there we go. Now we can uh, select this particular mission, which is what I will do. I'll play it on normal difficulty. It is the starting mission, so it should be fairly simple, easy, and straightforward to get through. Another cutscene, but hopefully we should be able to skip it. There we go. Otherwise, we would be here all day trying to watch that, and that is a huge part of the problem because the cutscenes are not skippable at first. So while the game itself looks like this and does actually seem pl the game itself, the in-game stuff is playable. It's just, yeah. Should I actually swap out for that? Um, I'll actually, I'll keep using the spaz for right now only to show it in action on some enemies. So I'm going to be swapping out this weapon anyways soon. I do like the destruction in this game, even if it can be a little bit... Actually, block that. As you can see, the enemies are a little bit bugged in terms of uh, the visuals, which is a problem. So it's not a perfect emulation even in game. There's definitely some problems, but the but it is at least, in my opinion, playable. I do like. I don't know how I feel about the blur effect. I mean, I kind of can appreciate the effort that they tried, but on the other hand, I kind of not a fan of blur effects in general. So. So we are a little low on health. We will need to deal with that. There is the secondary weapon, though, or the other weapon I'm going to pick up instead of the shotgun. The Uzi. And we got some ammo for it. Now you'll notice that this game is not particularly realistic in terms of how it depicts the weapons. For a start, you might notice that the magazine capacities are much larger than what they should be. For example, this AK-47 has 60 round mags as the standard rag mags for some reason. Do not ask me why, I do not know. Just destroyed some evidence there, so that's part of that objective completely. He's deleted. So yeah, the game is mostly playable, but it does have some significant issues. Even getting to the missions can be a bit of a hassle the first time because the cutscenes are not skippable at first. Up, 
we did have some slowdown there, so this game is not um, impervious to lag or slowdown and FPS drops. I will say that I do like the destructible terrain as a feature, though, in this game. That was one thing that it became well known for, and it did do a pretty good job of it, in my opinion. The Xbox version is considered the superior version of it, by the way, to pick up, and so... for more intel. Maybe? Nope, just some destructible scenery. Okay. settled. We'll destroy the guy in the RPG tower by just shooting at him repeatedly. Which causes that to happen for some reason. What's this? We can pick up our own RPG apparently. Cool. Well that was a bit more effective than I was expecting. <laughs> Note to self, the RPGs in this game are glorious. Okay, see if there's any more intel in the area. here for more intel. Yeah. I was hoping that maybe a door would open up or something there by shooting that. Oh well. Worth a shot. Anyways. Go ahead and deal with these guys. I think I might have still got that guy even though I missed. That would be a yes. Even though I missed, I got it. That should be the end of the mission. So, yeah, did okay ish, I guess. Didn't find all the objectives, but you do only need one of them really finished to progress, so. In this particular mission, anyways. Found some intel. Recon objective done. Armament objective done. So, yeah. I'd say that is a job well done on that for what it is. And uh, yes, overall, the game does at least seem to work in-game itself, despite some issues. But I'm not sure I would truly consider it playable just because of just how awful having to skip through the unskippable cut, or just having to sit through the unskippable cutscenes are. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, this has been Ace. I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.